So it looks like Senator Elizabeth Warren is going to be the first person to quasi-officially announce that she will be running for president in 2020. Uh, this is very interesting, actually, because she is the best example of the perils of running against Donald Trump. Now, there's going to be a, a big, big group of candidates trying to take down Donald Trump because of his perceived vulnerabilities. But one of the things that's going to be really interesting to game out right from the start, and Elizabeth Warren has already shown herself to be particularly bad at it, is how these people are going to handle the Trump persona. More specifically, the Trump insults. The insult factory that is Donald Trump. Now, uh, in theory, theoretically, his insults are actually really kind of lame and boring. Um, I've heard that a few times over the Republican primary. Donald Trump would come up with an insult for somebody, crooked Hillary, uh, lying Ted Cruz, low energy Jeb. <laughs> low energy Jeb was pretty funny. Um, and and the the people who are not Trump supporters or who don't like Donald Trump insist that these these insults are actually mundane and really boring and not very clever. Therein lies their effectiveness. Do not be deceived. Donald Trump is going to be a really, really, really hard person to beat in a presidential election. Why? Because, partially because of the insult factory. The fact that his insults are dumb is what makes them so effective. They land with a thud, and they're very memorable. I just quoted three off the top of my head. Um, and they, they tend to resonate. He's really good at instinctively picking out something about somebody that's easy to ridicule and you know, kind of sums them up and then sticking them with that label. But the most important part is that his insults tend to get in people's heads. And this has already happened to Elizabeth Warren. She's already harmed herself as she was a, a few months back. She was the front runner or potentially the front runner. A lot of people were lining up to give her money and, and anoint her as the main contender in the ring. But what happened was she already stumbled because of his insult to Pocahontas. If you don't know the history of, of him calling her Pocahontas, it's pretty funny. You know, she, she, uh, she thought she was, um, when she was in Harvard, she listed herself as Native American, or at least allowed herself to be listed as Native American. So Donald Trump was, you know, playfully and antagonistically referring to as Pocahontas. And instead of letting it kind of just roll off her shoulders or downplaying it, she, she somewhere in October, she, she went and actually got tested for her how much Indian blood she actually had. That was an enormous mistake. It took her out of the picture as a front runner because it was such a ham-fisted response. But this underscores the peril of running against Donald Trump. He gets inside his opponent's heads. What seem like dumb insults actually really work and they're really effective. Low Energy Jeb. Uh, there are YouTube websites called Low, <laughs> Low Energy Jeb. I swear to God, they're, they're in there, YouTube websites named after that insult. There's, those insights are memorable, and more importantly, his opponents get rattled by him. The one thing about Barack Obama, whether you agreed with him or not, whether you thought he was, um, you know, whether you agreed with him policy-wise or not, he was a really effective politician. And one of the reasons he was such an effective politician is that I never saw him get rattled save but once. It's only one time I saw somebody get in his head, and it was really rare. It was actually Sarah Palin. Yeah, Sarah Palin, of all people, going all the way back to when he was running against John McCain and the first time he ran. The first week and a half when Sarah Palin entered the ring, it rattled Bar Barack Obama visibly. He started getting off his game and responding to her. This is what Trump is an expert at. He gets his opponents, even the people who aren't running against him. He's practically annihilated CNN. You, I can't even watch CNN anymore because all they talk about is how much they hate Donald Trump 24 hours a day. It's not, there's no point in turning on. I used to watch Anderson Cooper every single day. I haven't watched him since Trump took office. Why? Because Trump is in his head. Same thing with Don Lemon. He's in his head all the time. And he's really, really good at doing it. Making his opponents fall apart by these seemingly fourth grade insults. 
they're really effective. <laughs> I swear, they're really... He might have even been potentially able to rattle Barack Obama. I only saw Barack Obama get rattled once. Like I said, when Sarah Palin first, first entered the ring for about 10 days, he, got, he, he started responding to her and he got really thrown off of his game. And then, you know, the media started attacking Sarah Palin and she turned into sort of a, a, a kind of a caricature. And then he was fine from that point forward. But other than that, every single person who has come up against Donald Trump, every single Republican, and every single person who makes him, who decides that they don't like Donald Trump, he always gets rattled by him. He gets in their heads. So that's going to be the most interesting thing to watch as far as I'm concerned, the Donald Trump primary, how these people handle Donald Trump persona. There's, so far, there's nobody I see who's going to be able to be good at it, as far as I can tell. Um, the really, really effective, obvious way to handle Donald Trump, nobody is, nobody is uh, so far I don't see anybody who's got it down. It would be to be his anti antithesis, obviously. You know, even if you're a Trump supporter, there are things about Trump that trouble you or you don't like, or there are things about Trump that make you uneasy. So if, you were, if I were to run against Donald Trump or advising somebody to run against Donald Trump, I'd say emphasize your competence, emphasize your stability and your sanity, how you're an adult and you, do, you, know, you don't get rattled, and your temperament. Um, but so far, nobody is doing that. They, they take the bait. That's what makes it so effective. The people who are, who are his opponents, you know, take the bait and they start playing his game. And he's the only one who knows how to maneuver in his reality. That's why he's been such an effective politician. He creates this, this, this chaos, this, this complete insanity that he's the only one who knows how to effectively maneuver through. That's why he's been so effective. And so far, I, I see him, you know, completely annihilating Elizabeth Warren with that. I think, I don't think she's going to be able to handle the Trump persona. I just don't see it. So that's my two cents thus far. It'd be interesting to watch it play out. Amen, kids.